Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on fractions and recurring decimals. So this is the last video on the topic. We're just going to go through a couple of example questions on converting recurring decimals to fractions. So uh, this first one is 0 0.14 recurring. We have to write that as a fraction. So 0 0.14 recurring, uh, let's call that x. And then if we times both sides of this expression by 100, uh, we get 14.14 recurring is equal to 100x. So now we want to remove this recurring decimal. So we're going to do 100x minus x, which is equal to 14.14 recurring minus 0.14 recurring. Uh, so that's going to give us 99x, which is equal to 14. So therefore, x is equal to 14 over 99, or 0.14 recurring is equal to 14 over 99. So here we've converted this recurring decimal into a fraction. So the final example then, we have to write 0 0.83 recurring as a fraction. So 0 0.83 recurring will set equal to x again. Uh, but this time, what we're going to need is we're going to need uh, two expressions that have the same digits after the decimal place. So uh, we're going to take 10x. So 8.3 recurring equals 10x and 100x, uh, which is 83.3 recurring. So that's 100x. So now if we do, uh, we'll do the workings up here where there's more room, 100x minus 10x, that's going to be equal to 83.3 recurring minus 8.3 recurring. So uh, we can do this in the column form uh, just to make it clear what's going on. So uh, let's put a few threes in just so you can see. So we have 83.333 and so on uh, minus 8.333 and so on. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, all these threes are going to cancel each other, so we're just left with 83 minus 8, so that's equal to 75. So these are going to all be zeros, so we've got 75.0. So effectively, what we have here is 100x minus 10x, so let's not forget that. So 100x minus 10x equals 90x. So we've just found an expression for 90x, so 90x equals 75, so therefore x equals 75 divided by 90. Now you can cancel this down. Uh, so 75 over 90, if we divide both top and bottom by five, that's gonna give us 15 over 18. And we can divide both of these by three uh, to give us five over six. So our final answer is uh, 0.83 recurring is equal to five over six. If you'd like to get some practice in with fractions and recurring decimals, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you'll get instant feedback on all of them. So it's a really good way of keeping track of your progress, finding out where you're going wrong and how you can improve. So if this is something you're interested in, you can click the link below and it'll take you straight over there.